And if you go to the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. Cause there are big iguanas and things that will eat your eyes. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> ah, look at him. Dinosaur tracks leading all the way up to the castle. It's just sand. Conté las horas, tus mi vida y sus toda mi aurora. Lo que quiero es amor. Nada de compasión, no, no, no lo sé si tú sabes. Que te quiero pero no lo es. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Me and Shaz are going on a catamaran. She's already done this trip. Uh, it's Wadi Cats? Wadi Cats? Wadi Cats? Yes, something or other. Um, big yellow catamaran, and you basically circumnavigate the island. We're gonna do some snorkeling. Uh, we get to go to a little deserted beach. Thank you, mate. Yeah. COVID police, making sure that we're, uh, we're not escaping. Tal police. Oh, is it Tal yeah. police? <laughs> anyway, we stop off, we do some snorkeling, we go to a beach, we go and do some uh, beaching. And uh, that's about it. So I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to seeing the island from outside of this bay and obviously the bay that we wended the pigs on. So welcome to Antigua and welcome along to the cat excursion. Welcome aboard. So this is where we've been dropped to have lunch for a little bit. It's like a little remote desert island. So everybody's playing on the beach, but I wanna go do some exploring with my beer and see what's around. There's some big lizards apparently. So let's see if we can find these big lizards through here. I love places like this. So I just put the drone up. Oh, what was that? Something just moved. What is it? Oh, ow, that's spiky. Oh, I see him. There's just a little baby one over there. Ow, I've got a thorn in my foot. Yeah, I love exploring little places like this. Oh, there's a little lizard. See him? Hi, bud. Hi, friend. And if you go to the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. Because there are big iguanas and things that will eat your eyes. What is that? Oh, gee. Wow. Okay, I definitely just pooed in my pants. I thought that was like an alligator skin. <laughs> So it's just a piece of plastic. Look at these cactus. How cool are they? Look, this one's got a hemorrhoid. So obviously this trip has only been, well, actually, if you haven't seen the first episode, you might not even know why I'm here. So I'm here to meet my mum because my mum's from England. She can't fly from England to California direct. She has to spend two weeks in a safe country because of COVID rules before she can fly into the US. So we decided that she would fly here. I would then come out for a week. Ah, that's spiky. Oh, look at this. Sorry, I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Hello, buddy. Hi, buddy. Whoa, he's got a big nipper on him. Whoa. He's just having a little little sleep there next to the, uh, whatever this fruit is. Oh, there's a baby one. Look at the little one next to him. Let's see if this one will come out. Oh, I can hold this, there we go. Hi, buddy. Ah, oh, look at him. Little hermit crab. Hi, bud. I didn't realize that their bodies, so their back end that, that is in the shell, looks like a shrimp. It's like a little curly shrimp tail. So when they grow out of this shell, 
they'll just get a new one. So they literally just keep changing their houses as they grow. So obviously this is a, a little baby one. And then you've got the big daddies like, so look, little baby one versus this guy. I mean, look at the size of his claw. His claw's about as big as my little fingernail. Hello, mate. I'm Adam. I'm from England, but I live in California. What's your name? I always wonder if I could live on a desert island, like what I would do. Now, obviously, first of all, being vegan, I think it'd be very difficult. I don't imagine there's too, too many wild tofu running around here. Oh, there's a big one. Look at the size of that one. You see him? Look at him. All right, mate. Hello, mate. No, he's having none of it. Oh, he's looking. It's like he wants it. He wants. Look, he's coming back. Hello, mate. You're beautiful. Look how blue his belly is. Hello. Good morning guys, uh, today is the day after yesterday, which is the day that we're on the boat. Uh, we sailed back and then pretty much everybody, apart from me and Jazz, to be fair, we were very good. Everybody was so hammered that I didn't manage to do an outro. And we just went to the pool bar and carried on having a few more drinks. Today is our last day and we are headed up there, up yonder on an epic journey through the jungle where there might be dragons and there might be dinosaurs. And there might be all kinds of other or goat probably just goats it's called goat hill isn't it we leave in about four hours so this is our final little send-off on the beautiful island of antigua so join us as we go on an epic adventure up the mountain small hillock so i did say that on this trip i was going to dive that shipwreck and also one out there but literally the weather it's been lovely it's been sunny caught lots of sun but we have had intermittent rain and as soon as it rains, the visibility goes to absolute shit. However, today, our last day, visibility is perfect. So it just gives me an excuse to have to come back here and dive that rack at some point. Um, this one is a pretty new one that's only been down about three months. And then there's a big sailboat out there that is, I mean, I didn't realize how big that was. But yeah, that one has been down a little bit longer, so there's more growth and stuff. I was hoping to go on and find treasure because if you don't know, maritime law states that anything you find at sea on a shipwreck is legally yours. So technically, those two ladies that I saved from that sinking boat, they could be mine now. But if I found treasure on that boat, I would definitely be keeping it. Let me know in the comments, do you want me, now that travel is starting to ease up a little bit, do you want me to do more tropical adventures? Uh-oh dinosaur tracks leading all the way up to the castle we're in the jungle be careful stop it's not that way it's this way what is that it's a baby pterodactyl sir we've come to speak with your master about the holy grail well i'll ask him but i don't think he'll be very keen uh he's already got one you see i told him we already got one <laughs> keep on going whoa how cool whoa look at this view We're up here, we made it. So this was a lookout. And actually this was the only fort, it's called Fort Barrington by the way, and it was the only fort that ever saw military action. So the French, I believe, tried to siege it at some point in the late 1700s, but mostly it was used as a lookout point and they would look out to sea and watch for ships. And when they saw the ships, they would use light signals and flags to signal to Rat Island. Now, I don't know exactly where Rat Island is, but that's what they would signal to. I'm guessing it's somewhere over there. And then they would let St. John, which is the capital, 
that would let them know of any impending threat. Because, I mean, realistically, you're going to struggle to sneak up on St. John when you can see a thousand miles out. It's funny, I really wasn't into history and historical buildings growing up. Now that I'm older, though, I love it. Like, I love thinking about, like, who walked up here? You know, all those years ago, who was it that built this? Who laid that stone right there three, four hundred years ago? That's super interesting to me. Really? Really, people? No, I'm, that's all Stand I'm here. No, I'm good. I'm Stand good. here, because look, then you can see that. Yeah, no, I'm Stand good. There, I, can, babe, I can see everything I want to see. Okay. As you can see, I got my adventurous side from my mum. Look, a woolly mammoth tusk. I'm so sweaty. You really wouldn't be able to sneak up on them, would you? Can you imagine? Like, for thousands of miles around the island, you can see boats. So you'd have plenty of time to, like, get the lads ready, wouldn't you? <laughs> Ooh, this is scary. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, that's so dark in there. <laughs> I don't like it. That looks like a jail cell. Should have locked Connor up in there. Oh, actually, Shaz, you can come down. Well, no, because it's it's the way out. Well, you can't, yeah. It's very easier than trying to go down those rocks. Just be careful on the stairs. Alright then guys, well that is going to wrap up this episode. I hope you've enjoyed my little week-long holiday in Antigua with my mother. She is coming back to Orange County now and there are plenty more things because she hasn't seen the sea she hasn't seen the boat, she's never met Diesel, she hasn't seen the camper van, she hasn't seen the golf, she hasn't seen my house. So we have got a lot of catching up to do and I'm sure I will be bringing you guys along on some of our adventures over the next couple of weeks. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps with the whole YouTube algorithm thing. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to see you guys here again. And remember, until next time, don't know anything I wouldn't do. See ya. Qué pena, que esto se volvió una condena.